Well, like most, um, well, like many people, I grew up, at least many people in, in the Western world, I grew up with a dog who I loved like a family member. And I also grew up eating animals. And I didn't think about how strange it was that I could be petting my dog with one hand while I ate a pork chop with the other. A pork chop that had once been an animal that was at least as intelligent and sensitive and conscious as my dog. And yet I considered myself a person who really cared about animals. I just didn't make that connection. And one day I became sick from having eaten a hamburger hamburger that was contaminated with um, a foodborne bacteria called Campylobacter. And that motivated me to stop eating meat. And when I stopped eating meat, I was more receptive to learning the truth about animal agriculture. In meat-eating culture, cultures around the world, people tend to have a tiny handful of animals out of thousands of possible species that they've learned to classify as edible. All the rest they learn to classify as inedible and therefore disgusting. And so even though the type of species consumed changes from culture to culture, members of all cultures see their own choices as rational and the choices of other cultures as disgusting and often offensive. And this is because the culture socializes us to not feel disgust. In other words, disgust is the norm. It's the rule rather than the exception. We learn how not to be disgusted by the flesh of and, and eggs and dairy products from the animals we've been taught to think of as edible. And in other words, we learn to not think about those as living beings and not feel empathy and connection toward them. Carnism is the invisible belief system that conditions us to eat certain animals, conditions us to make choices that are against our own interests and the interests of others and also against our core values. And it does this by creating a gap in our consciousness when it comes to eating animals. When we're born into a system such as carnism, we learn to not think about the living animal that we're eating, and we learn to block our natural empathy for that animal and, and block our feelings of disgust toward the flesh of that animal. Wrong is not a word that I like to use. I can say that eating meat is destructive. It's destructive to ourselves because we have to disconnect psychologically and emotionally from the truth of our experience in order to eat other animals. It's obviously destructive to the animals who suffer terribly um, for our own culinary preferences. It's destructive to the environment and it's destructive to meat packers and slaughterhouse workers. I think that humans in general um, truly do want to live authentically and live according to their core values. And I think that most people really do care about the well-being of others, humans and non-humans alike.